guys today i'm going to be showing you how david blaine did that trick on jimmy fallon's show so the trick i'm talking about its performance is going to be in the description box below and anyways let's get into the trick so first he just with no sneaky moves went ahead and counted off 10 cards so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. from here what he did was he took these 10 cards all right he was misdirecting the spectators and he, sp he just carefully spread out these top three cards and cashed a piggy break, just like that. He took these ten cards, flipped them over, and put them on top of the deck. Took all the cards from the break, and then what he did was it, it, uh, he ha give, gave these uh, 13 cards to the spectator. Now, the spectator thinks that these are still 10 cards over here, but actually, we've got 10 face-up cards and then 3 face-down cards. So... He told the spectator take a card, flip it over, and place it at the bottom of the deck. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, this gives the illusion that you have ten cards. This ensures that you have ten cards, but actually, you know what? These are the three random cards that we stole from the top of the deck. Now, the spectator thinks that these are ten cards right over here. After that, what he did was he forced the three on the spectator. All right, so you have the three on top of the deck or on the bottom, and then you're going to control it to the top of the deck, whatever way you want. And after that, you're going to, he forced, David Blaine actually forced the three on uh, Jimmy. So go ahead, tell me when to stop. So what you're going to do is apply pressure from your index finger as well as these three fingers over here, and you're going to riffle down with your thumb. So you're going to riffle down with your thumb whenever the spectator says stop. Take all these cards, put them upwards, and peel this top card, which is going to be the three. And force the three in whatever way you want to the spectator. Then show that they've got the, got the three. And then what he did was he told them to count these cards like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What he did was before they counted the cards, he, he was like, go ahead, count these cards like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He just dealt out seven cards. He took these seven cards, placed them on top of the deck, and he cashed a pinky bait. From here, they were counting the cards. So let's say I'm the spectator. So they were counting like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just as they reached ten, he had these seven cards palmed and he slapped the deck just like that and now he just put these seven cards on those 10 card packet and then 11 12 and 13. now the spectator thinks that these are 13 cards over here but actually they're 20 cards and they're not going to notice the thickness of these cards now the spectator still thinks we've got 13 cards over here and then what he did he actually forced the number seven to the spectator so he had the spectator pick one of the spectator picks pick any uh, uh, number between one to five and the other one and uh, had he had them pick any card between one to ten so one of them took four and the other one took three so three plus four is seven if they take five or two add five plus two to make seven if this take six or one add six plus one to make seven but if they take more than seven for example if they take one number as nine or the other number as three so nine plus three makes twelve and uh, 12 uh, minus 7 is equals to 5. So you're going to go through the deck just like that and tell the spectator, you know what, go ahead, take any card you want. And just as you see a 5, you're going to cut it and you're going to place it back, push it back and control it to the top and tell the spectator, you know what, actually take it face down. And you're going to control uh, the 5 to them, just force a 5 in any way you want. So now they've taken the 5. So tell them. 13 minus 5 is equal to 7. This means 7 cards are going to travel from here to here. So go ahead, use any method you want to force the 7 to the spectator. But if you want to be safe and uh, you want to be on the safer side and not mess up the trick, have them just go through the deck actually and call the 7. Alright, so you're going to go through the deck. You're just going to call the 7 to the top of the deck just like that and then force it in any way you want. So you're going to force it like that and sh tell them seven cards are actually going to travel from here to this deck and then you have them count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's how David Blaine did that trick. So 
this is the trick guys i hope you liked it thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe